If there's anything else we can do, don't hesitate to let us know. <laughs> Sounds like a stewardess. Hello everyone, this is Venus Brown. I'm back again with another episode of Death Note. This is episode 28 called Impatience. That's me a lot of times, just impatient. The description says, Light acting as L reveals to Nier that his sister Sayu has been kidnapped by someone wanting to trade for the Death Note. Okay, all right, let's bring on the new episode. Not really new, but next, the next episode. Get all the people in the intro that are now dead. <laughs> N. Why do I feel like I'm talking to L? <laughs> After reviewing the information, I believe there's a possibility that solving this case could lead to the arrest of Kira. As such, I'm willing to lend you my full support. Lead to the arrest of Kira? Who is he anyway? This confidence. Is there a problem, L? N no. Yagami's daughter was kidnapped. He's arranged for a trade in Los Angeles. A trade? The girl in exchange for the notebook, I assume. I'll have a team on standby in LA, but for now they'll be working on a need-to-know basis. Or... On second thought, I'll let you have full authority on this, Al. That's good. It means we're taking the lead. Any success in catching Kira so far? I'm aware of that. That's why it's a good idea. There'll be an opportunity to take advantage of him. Please, just save Sayu. Promise me. Stop talking like that, Dad! <laughs> I'd never be able to forgive you if you ended up dying in front of Sayu. You have to make a split-second decision by yourself, then I want you to do whatever's necessary to make sure both you and Sayu get out of this alive. Alright. There's a chance I might need to use your eyes this time. I want to have you close by. Don't think he actually cares. If things go badly, I may have to kill Sayu. Dude, you're like, you're so wrong. <laughs> God. Got it. I'm gonna get a haircut so they won't recognize me. Yep. So all you gotta do is. Get a haircut and nobody I mean, will recognize you. Superman just puts on a pair of glasses. Boom. Yeah. Person. He's totally like you can't tell that it's him at all. <laughs> You're going to board flight SC three thirty three. I have your tickets. Could they have somehow arranged for another plane? Oh, this is bad. It's not like they don't have multiple planes that go to L A. Even well, from the same place. Maybe this. Airport is small or something. Right. Well, and it is coming from another country. But still. This is a detour. Totally okay. This is not a hijacking. You can track us by radar. However, if you attempt to call the authorities to interfere with our course, I will not hesitate to crash the plane and take all the passengers with me. It's totally not a hijacking. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> That doesn't meet the definition of hijacking yeah. at all. We're just taking the plane against their will and then flying it where it's not supposed to go. And threatening to kill everyone. I'm sure you're aware of our current situation. That's cool. Notify the airlines, police, not to take any action yet. What's he thinking? I never realized he was this unreliable. Agreed. We'll locate the landing site and keep surveillance over the area using our satellite video feed. If there's anything else we can do, don't hesitate to let us know. <laughs> Sounds like a stewardess. I have no interest in your daughter's life one way or the other, or your sh There's only one thing I want, and you know what that is. The notebook. What's the right thing to do as a police officer, as a parent? Do you remember what what he's gonna do? Wow. So what do you think he's gonna do? Uh, 
exactly what he's told to do. I don't know. <laughs> Why is it quiet? There's a hole in it. The glass is bulletproof, understand? <laughs> I'm like, well, that was totally reasonable. We've made a few modifications as well. Slide the notebook through here. However, if you don't read it, I'll shoot your daughter through this opening. You can't seriously think that handing the notebook over to someone you don't know is a good idea, can you? And I would honestly suspect that even if he doesn't agree to it, they'd still have a way to get him. In the U.S., so I'm not in any position to start giving orders to the American police. Light, is everything okay? Is something wrong? You look kind of Lisa, just <laughs> shut up and do what I told you! He won't give up. If the killings are delayed, we're in trouble. Don't you understand? Okay, but who is this guy? Just get on with it, all right? Taking out your anger on her, huh? It's my only option. To kill Sayu. I can't do it. No one but the police knows about this case. If Sayu dies, I can't blame her death on Kira. That's what you get when you steal from me and sell goods behind my back. We'll make the exchange for your daughter. Dad, saw you. Hey, they actually made it. The suspect is headed for a helicopter. Well, it's good to see at least he wasn't willing to kill his fucking sister. What the hell? <laughs> N, I need you to maintain surveillance of that helicopter until it lands. Don't lose sight of it. You seem to think that's quite an easy task. Nevertheless, we'll do what we can. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we've been tricked. A missile? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The missile or the helicopter? Which one? Then this is going to wipe out all those past screw-ups of mine, right? Wiped out for sure. Oh, God. Of course. Here, the helicopter. I thought so. It could be anywhere now. Well, it definitely couldn't be anywhere. There are distances that it could have traveled and could it have. I have a good idea of what he'll do next. That dice just launched. Yeah, I don't think that dice thing would have fallen that easily. If it was like a tower of cards, then sure. But dice, no. The majority of the SPK's members have just been killed by the notebook. You were the one who handed over the notebook without a fight. You and your people were totally helpless. And are you saying if you were in command, you wouldn't have handed it over? No, considering their preparations, it would have been impossible to avoid I propose we work together and share the information we know so far. I have a very good idea of who the culprit behind this might be. I suspect the person who arranged the kidnapping and the trade is someone who goes by the name Mello. Mello? Who is he? All I know about him is that four years ago, he was living at an orphanage known as Whammy's House. That's the place Watari established. to see which of us will be the first to take down Kira, the final challenge. Oh, we haven't seen this in a while. Yeah. Uh, Armo Justin. Armonia Justin. Armo Justin. 
I've got a little problem. I went to the king to report that I lost my notebook. Ryuk said it was his and that he had dropped it. No choice but to find what you can ask him yourself. I guess I have to go to the human world. Yep. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I wonder if this other world, like, how much it's changed over time. Because, like, it sounds, based on what Rem said, that their world used to be different. Because she said that they had, like, evolved. Right. So it feels like, at one point, their world was different. Right. And I'm curious what it was like. Like, maybe they were all humans at one point, and then they got the death notes and, like, changed or something. Maybe. Or maybe they lived in some sort of utopia and maybe corruption yeah, destroyed the... it. Maybe they created the Death Notes as some sort of hyper scientific advancement to try to create immortality, and their longing for eternal life ruined everything. Could be anything. I mean, at least Light didn't kill his fucking sister, and neither did his dad. I know either of them could have felt that they needed to do it for very different reasons, but that I don't think it would have mattered. I thought that Light's dad and his sister were on the helicopter, but obviously that's not the case. Yeah, I think even if his dad didn't do the deal, I think they would have gotten it anyway. Even if Light had killed his sister, I think they still would have gotten the notebook anyway, mm -hmm. so... That would have been a waste and like really morals where you're like even considering killing your sister to keep yourself from being found out that that's just messed up. But Light is messed up. As far as I can tell, he's definitely messed up. Yeah, I still find it funny that this whole anime is happening because Ryuk got bored. <laughs> He was just like, eh, bored. I'm gonna go terrorize the one day for a while. Let's go mess around on Earth. <laughs> yeah. Well, some craziness. But that's all I got for you this week. I will see you next week. Bye. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want more content, click subscribe. If you click that little bell and click all, then you'll get more content notifications.